Now we're going to show you the simplest of all the lat stretches, but the one that requires probably the most strength, which is hanging by one arm. Now we're both going to hang by our right arm first. I've positioned a band as a bit of support um, for my left hand, and Cray's got a ring at the right height for his uh, right hand. It's actually your left hand, is it? Anyway, so I'm going to wrap my hand around the bar like this. Now notice Craig, he actually prefers an overhand grip. Personally, I find having my thumb involved um, helps me hang on um, definitely tangibly better. But everyone is different, so try it and see which one uh, works the best for you. Okay, so here's the approach. Hang on tight. I've got the, 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 my finger or two fingers in this red band here. And then watch we slowly let go, making sure the shoulders feel fine. Let go of the other band. I'm going to turn away from you and unwind. And then wind back up like this. So the exercise is basically hanging, winding and unwinding and do that for time. So that's my right arm. And that was only about five seconds, I think. And left arm, I'm just going to swap my hands over here. I know I'm a bit stronger in the left arm, so I'm not going to use any support. Let myself go like this. Oh, I can't tell you how good that feels. When you're strong enough to hang like this, this feels absolutely sensational. Wind up and unwind. And the whole purpose of this is conditioning tendons and ligaments and spending as much time in suspension as you can to condition everything that needs conditioning and then standing up. How does that feel? Good. Try it. You'll like it. Anywhere you can hang, you can stretch the entire body. You can also make the body stretch stronger too by inclining the trunk slightly away from the arm that's doing the hanging too if you want to make it even stronger. Now the next one we're going to show you is just one ring, so let us move into the new position. Okay, this last stretch in the series is the simplest to set up. We've got a bench here that Craig's going to put his feet on and we've got a ring set at the right height. The, the stiffer you are, the higher you have the ring above the support that you're going to put your feet on for reasons that will become clear in just a second. So watch, he's got a good grip with his right hand here and he's going to improve that grip by putting his left hand over the top like so. Then he hangs down, he puts one foot up on the bench here like this, gets himself in position, beautiful job and notice the strong bend he's got in the waist sideways here like this most of his effort is being put into the top arm here but if you look closely you can see that the entire body has a beautiful lateral flexion here and that itself is a decent stretch now he can do little contractions here too if he pulls on this arm a little bit for a count of say two three four take a breath in and then he can let his hips drop down a bit further this actually pulls both shoulders even further away from the hips and makes the stretch even stronger another thing he can do is he can let me help him roll him forward like this, which turns us into a massive oblique stretch on this side, or he can roll this top hip back as I'm doing now, and that makes it more of a quadratus lumborum stretch on this side. Now let us show you what this looks like from the other side. So when you're ready. Same attention to grip here, except he's going to change his hands over. The top hand is locking the bottom hand in position. He slowly gets us in a position like this and we find normally that putting the legs on top of each other like this gives us the best effect. He takes a breath in and on a breath out lets himself relax and literally lets his own body's weight elongate the trunk. And again, he's going to roll the top hip back which makes it into more of a QL stretch on this side and if he rolls the top hip forward slowly, make sure you do this slowly, now, once the hip is past vertical, now it becomes a massive um, stretch for the obliques on this side. And he can do a contraction in this position by pulling on the top hand gently. Three, two, one, stop, take a breath in, and let your body sink down. Now, if you're working with someone who's really flexible, and Craig is pretty flexible in this position here, you can even just add a few grams of weight here, and that makes it a lot stronger. But be gentle. This is a strong stretch all by itself. Okay, man, thanks very much. Thank you. The pleasure. That's strong, yeah. It is strong. It's yeah. much stronger than people think. Big fascial stretch too. Mm.